Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. Now, this is gonna be the second video in our Softaculous series and we're gonna go over how to remove a program from your hosting account using Softaculous. Okay, so next up in our Softaculous series uh, is a short video on how to remove software that you've had installed through the Softaculous tool. Uh, now again, we're gonna start off in the cPanel and you're gonna go find the Softaculous icon. Again, it's under software and services category here. I right, give that a click. Okay, so we come up to the main page here and we're going to go over here and click on application installs. And this shows everything that you have installed onto your hosting account through the Softaculous tool. All right, so we have three things with Joomla, the Solera Val, and then the WordPress. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the WordPress. I uh, actually can remove all three, but uh, it works this way. You just come over here and click the big X. Um, not a big deal. Let me show you really quickly though what happens. Uh, let's go back to the C panel. If we go down here in the databases, you'll see that there are several uh, databases here, three actually. One for uh, the WordPress and one for the Joomla. The test one does not belong to the Laravel. It's actually an extra one. Okay, uh, you can also see there's users for these particular databases as well. Okay, and let's go back to the cPanel home and in the file manager. Now, inside the file manager, you can see we have um, a VM3 folder, which uh, if you remember back in the Softaculous area, that was where we installed the Joomla. And then we have the Laravel folder, which is where we have the Laravel and then the blog folder, which is where we have all the WordPress stuff. <coughs> okay, so uh, backing out of this, back to the cPanel and Softaculous. All right, application installs. Okay, so we pick one of these, we're gonna take out, let's just go work down the list here. We'll take out the Joomla first. Click on the X, it says it's gonna remove it. Now, you can select a few things here. Uh, if you check this, the entire folder will be deleted. Now this is, Usually how things go, it's fine. I'm probably not gonna use uh, the folder name VM3 anymore. So uh, if I wanna get rid of it, that's fine. Uh, remove the database, you want to remove the database and then remove the database user. Unless he, he meaning the user, unless that one user is attached to another database, it's okay to go ahead and remove it. If you have a user that is attached to more than one database, so you have two Joomla installs, one for development and one not, and you have that user spread across the two databases, you may want to you know, uncheck that at this point. But typically, this is what you're gonna run across, just go one, two, three, keep them checked. Okay, it goes through, tells you what it's gonna ins uh, install, what installation number, which generally I don't know anyway, um, what version of the install is gonna be deleted, uh, you know, when it was in there, where it lives, and the VM3 folder here. The URL to get to it, uh, database name, database user, and a database host. This is all information that lets you know what is getting ready to be deleted from your system. If you're an admin, this may be very important to you. Uh, if you're just you know running this one particular software, uh, or you know, in, like in this case, the way we have it, each one is separated by its own folder, its own user, its own database. This is not particularly important, you know, uh, but it's there in case you need it. Okay. Uh, once you're satisfied that you're okay with going to get rid of all this stuff. Click through remove installation. Uh, pops up and says, hey, this is gonna be irreversible. Are you sure you wanna do this? In this case, yes. It's nice to have that little check at the very end. Okay, it runs through uh, this process here. You can see it's removing the database and the database user. Okay, and then it's gonna move on to the files and the directory. It takes about as long as it does to install, maybe a little bit longer, depending on what's going on and how much data is involved. If you have a large database, it can take a little bit longer. Uh, so if you have accumulated a lot of um, files, articles, items in your store or users, this can all affect how long the database runs uh, as it removes it. Now let's move on to the directory, which means it's gonna take out all the files. And you should get this successful installation removal uh, message here. Now if we go back to the cPanel, Okay, and I go back and look down at the databases. Okay, you see I only have two left. So the Joomla one is gone. Down here the user for it is also gone. And then if I go over to the file manager and take a look at 
Yep, their VM3 folder is gone. It means all the files that were in it uh, are also gone. Okay, so that's how you get rid of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna run through the last couple real quick. Same thing, go to application installs, you know, whatever you wanna get rid of, just click X. Now this one only has one, the directory. There's no database or database user involved in Laravel. That's why he only has the one. Uh, and again, it gives you the version number and you know, where it's located and everything. Go ahead and click the remove. Uh, go ahead and say yes, confirm that. And this one's a lot faster because it has no extra stuff as far as databases and database users to get rid of. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and take out the last guy here, the WordPress slash blog and like that. Again, this has a database, uh, a directory, and a user, and told me earlier that I installed it, which I did. I'm gonna get rid of it now, and just click on remove. Now notice, you know, everything, for all of these, it removes everything at slash blog, or slash VM3, or slash Laravel. That means anything that was up in the public HTML folder, the basic root folder for your website, is still there. So if you have something in a subdirectory, like this, don't be afraid to remove it for fear of deleting stuff on top of it as far as being in the uh, folder higher, it's fine. Okay, that was a quick one because it was just a basic install. And now if you go back to installation, uh, application installs, there's nothing there. So it says we don't have anything else in our Softaculous, okay, um, and we're good to go. So that's how to remove software from your Softaculous, um, we're using Softaculous inside your hosting account. Well guys, that's it for another edition of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comment section so we know what to bring you in a future video. Thanks and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.